Casey and I were broke college students spending way too much money on underused textbooks. So we constructed a business model, won first place in our university business plan competition, and got on the phone calling textbook publishers. We caught our first momentum boost one morning when we cold called the president of McGraw-Hill Higher Education, Brian Kibbe. A few months and many emails later, Brian took three days off work and drove two hours down to Illinois State University to meet with us. This is what we told him. Hey guys, my name is Casey. Uh, this is Mike. Uh, I'm here to tell you how messed up this industry is. So I'm a current college senior, um, and it's no doubt that as college students, we're all very budget conscious, right? But still, used and rental textbooks are inefficient. We're all dropping $500 on average per semester on books that are rarely used. Mike here often struggles to buy his used textbooks, and he still doesn't even use them. Publishers, on the flip side of the scenario, typically make $0 on any of these transactions because these books are on the secondary market. Now, required books are oftentimes being uh, used less in the classroom than they ever used to be. It's a big trend in academia that professors are being empowered with all the content sources and selections they have from I have professors that are lecturing primarily off of YouTube, making their own PowerPoints, constructing their own materials, articles off Wall Street Journal, Wikipedia. And while the textbooks are very much at the center of the course, they're very much used as a reference. Now, sadly, textbook prices just keep increasing at a rate of four times inflation for the past 20 years. As prices rise, students flood to the used and rental book markets, and publishers in order to, uh, have to raise prices in order to compensate for a lot of that lost revenue, creating a vicious cycle of never-ending increasing cost. Now, here's what we came up with. Packback is an affordable ebook rent to own model where 24 hour rentals generate discounted purchases. We're shifting the power back to the consumer and empowering them to make purchases when they need to. Here's how it works students will rent as needed and buy at a discount if the time comes. You can rent an ebook for roughly $3 to $5 a day. And if you decide that renting is financially inefficient and you need that book, you can buy it at a discount based on how many times you rented it in the past, always realizing full value off of your expenditure ultimately solving the issues of high price and low usage. On the back end of this, it's very simple. We take 30% of all transactions in a standard revenue sharing agreement. This leads to a very highly scalable business model. And this ultimately taps pub the financially self-assuring publishers into a lost revenue stream uh, and converts students digital. Now, publishers don't receive 75% revenue off of the total market of books that are out there, which is scary to think about. Millions are being spent by competitors, and the industry has been doing very well in terms of fundraising, but the ebook adoption rate is still at a mere 3%, 3%. Now, we believe that our 24-hour rental model is the key to transitioning students digital, and we think we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Now, textbooks, believe it or not, are an $8 billion industry. However, it's in such a state of turmoil that over $5 billion are attributed to this secondary used book market. We feel that our model enables us to capture a significant slice of this secondary market, which puts us in great position for priority number one, the rights to the content. So we, throughout a year and a half process, have made really great progress with a lot of the industry leaders in the publishing space. Uh, by the time we launch our pilot at Illinois State University next fall, we fully expect to have 60% of the major industry players in our pilot with us. Obviously, a lot of doors had to be opened for us to get to this place right here. As you can see, we have a lot of really phenomenal advisors and supporters. Um, a lot of these guys helping us with business development here in Chicago. Uh, one I'll highlight here is Dean Flores. He's a former senator of California and CEO of 20 Million Minds, a major nonprofit organization out in California focused primarily on lowering student costs in the textbook industry. He has deep ties to the educational and political circles that really move this space. So behind our management team, we're proud to have been selected as an entrepreneur in residence under Leo J. Shapiro and Associates strategic research firm. So with LJS, what we're doing is conduct, conducting um, a very extensive survey in different focus groups and a full study on student learning behaviors and purchasing patterns. This ultimately feeds into to refining our customer acquisition strategy. So with our technology team, we are a portfolio company of Dashfire, which gives us a very solid um, starting tech team, which works seamlessly with our UI UX designer in-house. This is what we've built so far. Uh, very excited with the feedback we've gotten from students and we'll be launching next fall. So as far as traction, I mean, we've come a long way from uh, the dorm room. So we have made traction in fundraising. 
Uh, Alan Matthews is right there. We have traction with publishers, but most importantly, uh, strategic corporate investors. So that's that's packed back right there. Thank you.